We're now going to talk about the scope of a management system. And this applies to all uh, the management systems. The scope basically is what you do and where you do it. Let's look at it in a bit more detail. First thing then we have to think about well, what are the boundaries of the scope? Um, so these might be physical or even virtual boundaries um, with you know the advent of cloud computing and, and data moves all over the world we have to think about that when we're thinking about our scope and we might have a small office in a town um, but our scope might reach to international clients. So all this needs to be borne into, into mind. So boundaries, think physical, also think virtual. Uh, we then need to, in our scope, and this is very important, to be very transparent about our products and services. What is it that we actually do? What is it that we provide uh, as a business? So the products and services, for instance, on a QMS scope must be specified uh, in the scope statement. Now, if we carry on the 9001 example, and this does apply a little bit to the other management standards in different ways, is we have to show that we have considered context. Now, if you've looked at the context clause in any of the standards, you'll see that it's essentially about issues and interested parties. So once we've considered the issues that might get in the way of us achieving success in our management system, and we think of the interested parties that are relevant to the system and what their requirements might be, this should all influence the scope as applicable. Okay. Final thing we need to think about is whether there are any exclusions. Now this is a word we've used in the past and now uh, we tend to use the word applicability. Uh, interestingly enough the 27001 standard has been using this word for a few years and 9001 now uses it. So what is applicable to the system and what isn't? And now if anything's not applicable it must be stated in the scope. It must be put there. Again it's about being transparent and, um, with, the, with the customers uh, and with also potential customers. Uh, just a, a sort of word of warning if you open up any ISO management system standard, clause one will always be scope. Uh, take care, this is not the same thing, that is the scope of the management uh, system standard itself. Whereas typically in clause four of the newer standards, you will see that scope uh, is mentioned as a result of the context.